One, two, three. Woo-hoo! Ready? The working girl number for Nia is kind of about her mother, Dr. Holly. We all know that she is the original working girl. You know, no one ever had a job and raised any kids before her. You're making the vote? No. Oh, Nia! I keep talking about stepping out on that stage, doing the walk, and it's that entrance. Right, left, right ball change. Hello. Holly, what's been going on? You are never going to believe who uh, came into Pyramid today. I'll give you three guesses. Jill? Yes! What's your number? She yes. had her 900 voice That's on. what I said. But wait, no, oh. even better. She got Kelly's haircut, and it's blonde. My color. Oh, my God. Yeah. Truth be told, I didn't like last year's Laquifa dance. It was not a signature dance that I was really proud of Mia performing. And Mia didn't do well with it last year. And you're stepping and finishing the turn, and you're really running in and finishing the turn. Yeah. Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop Dead Diva. The girls auditioned for a role on Drop Dead Diva. I've been anxiously awaiting this call. Hi, how are you? I just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions, we have decided that we are going to go with... Coming up on Dance Moms, you need some control over your mother. She's the one that made you quit to begin with. Paige, what happens if I put her in instead of you? Just saying. I'm just saying. Hello? Hi, my name is Carol, and I'm the casting director for Drop Dead Diva. Hi, how are you? Well, I just wanted to let you know that after watching all of the auditions for the role of Young Deb, we have decided that we are going to go with Maddie. She did a great, great reading, her dancing was beautiful, and we thought that she was great, and we decided to go with her. Something's going on. No, they just said Maddie got Drop Dead Diva. How do you know? Because the kids just told me. Oh. All right, super. Thank you so much. And isn't it funny how they wanted a blonde and she's the only one that auditioned that wasn't a blonde? And isn't it funny? But I'm pretty sure that Maddie had that part before she even auditioned for it. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah! Are you excited? I think all the other girls know that it's not a level playing field. So it's no big surprise when Maddie gets chosen for parts. I think the girls are used to it, but they shouldn't have to be. I know how things like this work. It is political, and I know already has someone's name on it. I don't even know why they have our kids audition it's real. For it's a real well, part. So it's... We just auditioned for the show because Maddie was slated for that part before she ever opened her mouth. I always said that that role had someone's name on it. And in my mind, that child was Maddie. Go tell your mom you got the job. Woo-hoo! The part goes to Maddie. Is Maddie the best? Who knows? It's not about being the best. It's about being right for the part. Good job, honey. So proud of you. Congratulations. Excited? It's not fair to Maddie. When she gets a job, I want her to be excited. If any of the other girls got it, all the moms would be jumping and screaming and hipping and hollering, but when it's my daughter, they get jealous. Honey, I'm excited for you. Thank you. I'm sure all of your team members are excited, too, for you. When Miss Abby announced that I got the part, I was just smiling, and I tried to stay as humble as I could because I didn't want to have my other friends feel bad. I'm proud of you, honey. Go back into class. Good job. Congratulations. <laughs> I just wish that things were fair and even. Abby absolutely 100% made sure that Maddie was going to get that role come hell or high water. 